Hi, this is Dr. Goldberg uh, giving a quick update on set rates. <clears throat> You're going to be dealing with set rates for the rest of your life. You might as well get used to it. Uh, set rate is a very useful tool in infectious disease. Uh, we use it in, uh, for several reasons. Number one, when we have people with chronic infections such as osteomyelitis, septic arthritis, bacterial endocarditis, we monitor the set rate weekly as one of the parameters as well as a CRP. But I find it very helpful in the patient with an FUO or a potentially serious infection or some other type of inflammatory process. If you get a SED rate, and the SED rate is <clears throat> around 100, plus or minus 10, 15, uh, you can bet that you've got a serious problem going on with that patient. And the differential diagnosis is quite long, but you gotta you got to understand it. These are the things we think about. Tuberculosis, subacute bacterial endocarditis, chronic osteomyelitis or septic arthritis, collagen vascular disease such as Templar arteritis or Wegener's granulomatosis, occult abscess, and cancer. Cancer is a problem. Uh, can present with a fever, especially if it's a GI cancer or renal cell carcinoma or an atrial myxoma or a lymphoma. So a high set rate of around 100 is very serious. If you see somebody in your office, on the other hand, with a fever of unknown origin, and in their workup you find that the set rate is only, you know, 5 or 10, likely they don't have a real serious problem. Uh, so set rates can be very instrumental in your workup and can lead you along the uh, correct path of diagnosis. Thanks, Dr. Roberts signing off.